Hi everybody! So my very good friend Christy is having a tag video and uh, she has a bunch of questions and I thought I'd play along for all of you today. Uh, there's lots and lots of YouTubers participating. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into this. And I'm sorry dogs, if you watch my videos you know they love to just show up um, when I'm recording. Primarily. Okay. So what brought you to scrapbooking? Here are the 10, 10 questions. What brought me to scrapbooking? Um, all right. So I started scrapbooking in 2001. Um, I went to dinner with my, the best man in our wedding. Uh, his family had us over for dinner and his wife showed me her scrapbook. She was a creative memories um, consultant for a long time and she was showing me all of her scrapbooks and how beautiful they were and I had always been someone who took lots and lots and lots of pictures so uh, yeah it was really easy for me to be like I want to do this so that's what I I did she had a party and she had a cream members party and I went with a bunch of my friends and um, yeah I started scrapbooking pretty easy and simple um, so that was that. Number two, besides your immediate family, what do you like to scrap about most? Um, my nieces, my nephews, um, pictures, art. If you, uh, I, I have, I love museums. I love impressionist art. I love to take pictures of all of the artwork that I've seen and create, a, create books, usually traveler's notebooks about, um, that art piece. And I might add some history and I'll add a date of when the, the picture was, or the sculpture was created. Things like that. So. Sorry. I have to save some ribbon. From my animals. Anyway. <laughs> That is what I scrapbook. Uh, mm, yeah, my art. I love my art. I think that's the kind of the most. And my, my nieces and nephews. So. Are you a buy it all or use your stash type of scrapbooker? Okay, guys. Seriously. <laughs> I am a buy it all scrapbooker. There's just no way around it, right? You guys watch my channel. You see me. You're in my Rediscover Your Stash group when I enable you all. I am a buy it all scrapbooker. Hands down. Okay, what do you need to be in your perfect scrappy mood? So, first of all, my kids have to have their chores done. So my house has to be somewhat relatively clean and put together. Um, I need a bottle of water because I drink while I scrapbook. I drink water while I scrapbook. Sometimes I drink alcohol too, but mostly water. And if it's late at night and I'm up against a design team assignment or I'm up against a video series assignment or I'm up against anything, Coke. That's it. Um, don't eat, I don't nibble. Uh, yeah, no. Sometimes I nibble, but not really, not often. Okay, where am I? Five. Are you more of a literal scrapbooker or can a random embellishment be on your page just because it's cute? So a random embellishment can be on my page just because it's cute, provided that the colors in that random embellishment go along with the colors of my overall layout. If the colors are good and I'm working in that color scheme and the, the matches, the, then psh, we're good. It can go on there. I don't care what it is. It can be a bear on a Beach ball, juggling golf balls, I don't care. Okay. How many pages do you try to scrap in a certain amount of time? Example, in a month I try to do about 30, or in a crop I try to do 16. Okay, so I try to do one a day. One project a day. Whether that project is a card, whether that project is a scrapbook layout, whether that project is a traveler's notebook layout, whether that project is a pocket page, whether it's a, for a recording, whether it's not for a recording, whether it's for a challenge, whether it's not for a challenge, all that doesn't matter. One, one project a day. I try to get something creative done every day. Okay. Seven, favorite collection from 2018. 
Um, Auburn Lane. That's it. Also Whimsical. Also Vicki Bootenfield Notes. Those three just were like my jam in 2018. Loved them. What is one scrappy technique that you have never rarely tried that you wish you were good at? Hmm. That's an excellent question and I honestly don't know. There are scrappy things that I've tried that I wasn't good at. And then I just totally like, this is not for me, toodaloo. I break sewing machines. So maybe if I had a sewing machine that didn't break, then I would want to sew them. I mean, I hand stitch on pages, but I don't sew on them because I break sewing machines. I've broken three, three of them. I don't know what the deal is. Me and technology, we don't get along. Nine, what color combo do you think we should see more of? Oh, oh my goodness. Coral and aqua. In fact, let me show you something. Remember, I'm the girl that buys all the things, right? Yeah. Don't forget that. That's important. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ha! Ah, can't find what I'm looking for. Anyway, coral and mint. Coral and aqua. Sherbert and aqua. I love those colors. And I just got a collection from Mente Papers, who's in Pol Poland? I think they're in Poland. And oh, it's Coral and Aqua Dream right there. So beautiful. All right, 10. Are you at all worried about our hobbies fading out? No, because I know scrapbookers that are just starting and they're like between 18 and 22. So I know off the top of my head, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it. Um, but I will say that I think scrapbooking is going to change the focus. And what I really think is going to start to happen is that I think we all need to learn how to stamp. Because I think in the future there will be less collections coming out. But honestly, as long as Chamel is doing four full collections a year, as long as she is still creating that much, as long as, um, you know, Pink Paisley is still coming out with three or four collections per year, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll worry about it when the nice big companies go down to having one collection a year. That's when I'll worry about it. I'm not worried about it right now. Um, I, I do think that, I do think that scrapbookers who are looking for something different, scrapbookers that are, that, um, don't, that, that maybe don't like collections that are coming out or, uh, don't like papers that are coming out, things like that. Check out the card making industry. There is some of the most beautiful cardstock there. Some of the most beautiful cardstock there. There's some of the most beautiful stamps and dies and things that work freely and in between for both scrapbookers and card makers. Um, and I think that that's, that's kind of, as it goes on here, I think that might be kind of where things head to where we're kind of merging in with other paper crafts. And it's not, here are the planners and here are the card makers and here are the scrapbookers, but rather we're all paper crafters. This is my medium. This is what you do. It's all good. I think that would be great actually. Um, so yeah, that's the 10 questions and I'm done because I talk really fast. So I hope that you, um, enjoyed the answers to my questions. Um, oh, I have to tag people. Okay. Um, who do I want to tag? Let me think about this. I'm going to tag State Goddess, Sandy Reversky, because she's super fun and I think she'd do fabulous. I'm going to tag, I'm trying to think who maybe hasn't been tagged already. Amy Myers, tagging her, because she's tag girl, so she's got to be tagged. And um, three people, a third one. Kelsey, oh, what's her last name? Kelsey, you know who you are. You're tagged. You're welcome. Alrighty, guys, see you all again later.